medicine is at the top of the list because our health depends on this stuff. You know, all you have to do is look at their response to the COVID-19 virus, the mandates. They are now telling doctors how to perform medicine. If you don't get on board with what the FDA says, the CDC says, the state medical board says, they're not letting individual doctors doctor. They're ruining medicine. Now, how do I know this? I saw this clip. It's a little older, but it's worth playing from the University of Columbia, Columbia University in New York, where my great uncle was head of orthopedic surgery. He would be rolling over in his grave if he heard the new hypocritic oath that Columbia med school students are taking. We also recognize the acts and systems of oppression affected in the name of medicine. We take this oath of service to begin building a future grounded in truth, restoration, and equity to fulfill medicine's capacity to liberate. I promise to take care of my future patients by engaging in dialogue, listening to their lived experience, and tailoring my recommendations to their unique circumstances. Equity and inclusion in medicine. She's there running down this thing with a mask on. Those are the last people I want going anywhere near me if I'm sick. What else do the Democrats ruin? They ruin the economy. Everybody out there can see that right now. we got inflation through the roof. But do you know how they ruin it? They ruin it through uncertainty. And I say this because when Democrats get in charge, whether it's at a state level or a federal level, business owners don't know what's coming next. It was Obamacare. Oh, my God, what am I going to have to pay for health insurance for my employees? All of the regulations. Now they go down this road of climate change. You don't know what's going to hit you. So as a business owner, You don't know if it's right to invest or not, so you sit on the sidelines. It kills an economy. Just listen to BlackRock CEO Larry Fink. Well, behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're we're asking companies. Uh, You have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. Uh, 54% of the incoming class are women. We, We added four more points in terms of diverse uh, employment this year. And it, if it, it, you know, what we're doing internally is if you don't achieve these levels of impact, it, your compensation could be impacted. Okay. This is ridiculousness. BlackRock owns so many companies. I mean, they're one of the biggest investors in America's biggest companies. And they're worried about all of this stuff, how, how much diversity they have, the climate change agenda. They have One goal and one goal only. They should. That's to make money and make money for their shareholders. And you do it by treating your customers. You don't have to go down all of this other crazy nonsense. So you add all of this together and what do you get? You get lies, right? They push you. They gaslight you, the Democrats do. Watch this. I really doubt that we're going to see an inflationary cycle. Most economic analysts believe that it will have a temporary or transitory impact. The faster than expected increase in some of those prices is actually a good sign. The overwhelming consensus is going to pop up a little bit and then go back down. No one's talking about this great, great deal. This is something that will uh, settle down. Transitory. No, no, it's settling down. Transitory inflation. We still have inflation here. It looks like it's on the rise. They literally look the American people in the eye and they lie to you. That's how you ruin a nation by not being able to trust its leaders anymore. And sadly, we got a leader who's a Democrat in the Oval Office, a socialist, really. 